Hello! In this video I'm going to be going over how to find the enthalpy for the reaction given the heat of formation. I'm going to try, first of all, let's start with something that's a little, little more challenging than letter A, letter C. We've got methane plus O2 gas, reacts from CO2 plus H2O. So we're doing C. What we got to remember when we're finding delta H, it equals this weird Greek sigma sign, uh, which means sum, sum of the products minus the sum of the reactants. And uh, we're talking about the heat of formation, the sum of the heat of formations of all the products minus that of all of the reactants. We got a nice little table right here, and we're looking for products, which are CO2, gas, so that's 393.5, 393.5, and that's in kilojoules per mole, and we've got just one of them, so we're going to multiply that by one mole, plus our water liquid, H2O liquid is negative 285.8 kilojoules per mole. And there's two of them. Times that by two moles. Put this in brackets. Because that's our products. And we want to subtract our CH4 methane. Scrolling down. And I am looking for it, and I am not finding it. Oh, there it is. 74.8 kilojoules per mole. And there's just one of them. One methane, so we times it by one mole. Plus O2, anytime we have a diatomic element, it's going to be 0 kJ per mole. that in brackets. Right, next, you pull out your calculator that you always bring to class, and you start solving it out. Alright, so, 2 times negative 285.8 plus 393.5. All right, that gives me negative 178.1 kJ. The moles cancels out. Moles cancel out. Minus 74.8 times 1. Oh. Negative 74. 0.8 kJ. Moles cancels out. Plus plus. So we're going to do 74.8 plus negative 178.1. And my delta H of this reaction is going to be negative 103.3 kJ. And it's a negative delta H, therefore it's exothermic energy is being, being released. If I were to make this equation into a thermonuclear equation, I would write 103.3 kilojoules on my product side to show that energy is being released. It's exothermic. My delta H is negative. And that is how we find the enthalpy of an reaction using the heat of formations.